Hello, this is Professor Capco. Welcome to another video. We're going to be calculating the average length of stay in this particular video, and this is part of the healthcare statistics course. All right, so we're going to calculate computing. Uh, we're going to calculate the average length of stay. So let's look at this data. This is the data we're going to be utilizing for this. On the left-hand side, as you can see, we have the services listed: medicine, surgery, obstetrics, newborn. And then next to it, we have the number of discharges for each of these during the period in question. And then we have the number of discharge days on the far right for each of these in question. And then I've taken the time to total them at the bottom. Okay, and this is for a particular year that is not a leap year. All right, so that's the data we're working with. And first question is, what is the average length of stay for the medicine service. Okay, so we're going to calculate the average length of stay for the medicine service. And for that, we're going to utilize this formula here. The total length of stay, which is otherwise known as discharge days, over the total discharges. And those will include deaths. So when you're calculating it, make sure you include deaths. Okay, so let's go ahead and calculate that. As you can see, I've utilized the same formula we just had discussed, but I like to use boxes. I've got the boxes listed there, and it makes it easier for you to do without making a mistake. So we have the number of discharge days, and if I look back on our data, the number of discharge days for medicine is 37,284. So I'm going to go ahead and put that up here in the top. 37,284. And then the number of discharges for medicine, discharges for medicine, is 6,658. So I'm going to put that here, 6,658. You go ahead and divide the 37,284 by the 6,658, and that gives us a number that is 5.599. So if we round that, and since this 9 is above 5, it becomes 5.6. So the number of days, average number of days, average length of stay for the medicine service is 5.6 days. So that's how you could calculate it for that. Let's do it now for newborns. For the newborn service, same formula, same boxes, and I'm going to use newborn data. So I'm going to go ahead and move this over here so you can see the discharge days for newborn is 4,456. 4,456. So if you go newborn discharge days, that's 4,000. 456. And then the number of discharges for newborns is 2,214. And if I divide the 4,456 by the 2,214, I get approximately 2. So the stay length is 2. Lastly, we can calculate it for all services. We're going to use the same formula, same boxes, this time it's for all services. So as I told you, I already totaled them up. So I took the column for discharges for all the services and I added them up and that was 19,081. And I added up all of the columns for discharge days and I got 95,011. So I'm going to use that those numbers here. Discharge days is 95,011. And the number of discharges is going to be 19,081. And if I divide the 95,011 by 19,081, I get a number that's 4.979, which is approximately 5. So the average length of stay 
for all services is five. Make sure you subscribe to this channel to get more information uh, and more helpful videos for this course. Thank you.